Hello everybody, this is Denim Darlin and today I will be doing a boot cleaning video. I am going to clean my Glorias in Mahogany Oro Iginal Leather and to clean them today I will be using the Foam Leather Cleaner, the Leather Boot Cream from Red Wing, the 100% Horsehair Brush, the Dauber Brush, that's also 100% Horsehair, a pop-up sponge from Trader Joe's, and warm water which I already have ready. These boots have actually been through a lot. I had them in Europe when I went to Ireland and Germany. I took them to Alaska recently and it rained every single day that I was there. I was there for six days and I wore these boots practically the entire time. They went through puddles with me. Um, they got very wet and they still look amazing. Let me just show you a really quick close up of the sole and how it wears in. Um, it doesn't seem like it, but the sole gets really tacky once it starts to get worn in. And there's the heel. You can tell it's starting to also get worn in. Okay, so let me show you some close-ups of the boots and we'll get started. First, I'm going to remove the shoelaces. Okay, now that the shoelaces are off, I'm going to give them a quick brush. Get any dust that they might have on off of the boots and um, any dirt. Get any dust and dirt off that they might have on them right now. So there is, um, I don't know if you can see it, maybe I need to get this closer to the light, but I'm going to try getting all of this off. It looks like it's a little bit of mud stains. And uh, the leather is definitely dry, it needs some nourishment. Can't wait to see how these turn out once they're fully cleaned. Okay, All right, so I'm gonna add some foam leather cleaner into the water and add two capfuls. One, oops, a little sloppy there, two. And this is a lot of labor in cleaning these boots because there's so much boot to these boots. So much leather to clean. I'm gonna wipe them down. Okay, now I'm gonna use the dauber brush. Remove the sponge out of the way. I'm 
going to use the dauber brush to uh, get the actual sole of the boot. I'm going to scrub it a little bit more because I feel like it's pretty filthy. The water is pretty yucky now. <laughs> Okay, and I'm just going to wipe it down. Maybe let me dry that. So I'm going to let both of these boots dry before I apply any leather conditioner. And um, I'll be back to record them once they are dry and ready. Here are both boots side by side. Nice and clean. The boots are clean, the boots are dry. I am going to condition them really quick and lace them up and show you the finished results. All right, let's do this. Um, I'm using the leather cream because it doesn't darken the leather and although this is very dark brown leather just wanted to kind of maintain the the color and luster that it came with. I like using my hands to condition because I don't like wasting product and I feel like I can feel how much I'm putting on the leather and I like the sensation. I'm also going to condition the sole and it's all stacked leather. There is a lot of leather to condition on these boots. I'm going to give them a quick buff with my horsehair brush and I'm going to move on to the next boot. <sighs> this helps to get uh, some of the boot leather cream better settled into the leather itself and also remove some of the excess from the stitching on the boots. It also helps to spread the boot cream evenly. To the next boot. Okay, I am sweating profusely right now because these boots are very tedious to clean. There's so much leather to, to buff out. Also, we're going through a heat wave in Southern California and I have no air conditioning. So I know that y'all have probably seen videos of me in the past cleaning boots and sweating my butt off. Well, here's another one. Whew. For the love of Gloria. I'm going to put the laces back on and I'll spray them with a the leather protector at the very end.
All right, that was a mission. I am so happy these boots are done, but the last thing I did right now was add leather protector, which is still settling into the leather. But once it absorbs, the boots will be able to repel debris and moisture. But they look really nice. They look like a dark chocolate right now. And I'm really happy with the way they turned out. I would love to thank Red Wing Heritage Women for supporting the making of this video by sending me a lovely cleaning kit, which I use to clean these boots, as part of their Tough Love campaign. Alrighty, everybody, thank you very much for watching this video. This is Denim Darlin, and if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to my channel. Once again, this is the Red Wing Heritage Women's Gloria, and it was a lot of fun cleaning this boot today. <laughs> Take care.